Hi! It's Eminago. So I'm doing this Lady Gaga tutorial today. And this is of course from Judas. So let me come in close. So you can see this makeup. So I got the wig including the bandana from um, Lady Gaga's webshop. And uh, my jacket is actually a blazer, but let's just pretend it's a leather jacket, okay? So this look was a little bit difficult to do, of course, with this crazy eyeliner and the crazy brows. But I think it turned out okay. So I hope you guys like this look as well. So yeah, I don't know what more to say. Um, the sun is setting, I'm filming this pretty late, so I hope um, that the... Uh, lighting is okay still, but I definitely have to wrap it up right around now because you know the sun is gonna set in like half an hour So it's getting really dark, but anyways, it's a really fun tutorial to do the eyeliner part is hard but you just need time and then just Use a makeup remover pen to remove you know and correct the mistakes and you're going to be fine And by the way you guys I have a new nail polish on today this is another color from Laura Page. It's this one. It is called Grape Wine. It's so gorgeous. I'm in love with these Laura Page uh, nail polishes. I have to, you know, talk about these in another video because they are A-OK. -okay. So yeah, I think we're just going to go on to the tutorial now. So um, yeah, don't forget to like this video if you like it. Just give it a big old thumbs up. And here comes the tutorial. Okay you guys, so to start off, we are actually not going to start with a primer today, we are going to start with eye drops. Gaga's eyes were extremely white, so I have these eye drops, I got them in the mail like a few days ago, and the reason why I got these was because I saw Time to Infamous use them in one of her videos, and it made her eyes very white, so I thought I would try it out. And I did try it out last night and it worked super great. It also helped to ease some of my irritation in my eyes because I suffer from a lot of allergies. So let's try and put this on on camera. And of course this step is optional. Okay, let me see if I can do this. Oh. Oh, uh-oh. Whew. Okay, other eye. Oh, 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 oh. So at first my eyes are going to be more red, but it will go down, I hope. Okay, so once that's on, I'm going to, um, I'm sorry, my nose is so itchy right now. <laughs> I'm going to apply my Catrice Anti-Red Base. Oh, wait, I'm first going to put my hair out of my face. You guys, I literally just got home from school and it's like 4.30 right now, so... I don't know, I'm just a little bit, ooh, because I'm not used to um, being in school all day and then go home and film. So I warm up the primer between my fingers and then I go in and apply. And I apply this primer all over my face. So I'm going to come in close right now. Can you see how bright my eyes look? Like they're super white. Ooh. So yeah, that stuff actually works. And now I'm going to apply my... Rimmel Stay Matte Foundation in the color Ivory. And Gaga's skin was, as always, very flawless. So that's why I'm using this one. And I'm back using my e.l.f. Blending Witch today. And of course I spray that with some water. So you guys know that I'm going to do the Judas makeup look today. And I actually tried to film this yesterday. But for some reason, it was just not happening for me yesterday. I always plan out when I'm going to film so I know that I will have videos to upload. And for the longest time my schedule, like my filming schedule that I make for myself, it has just been, you know, it has been matching perfectly and everything has gone right. But yesterday the makeup was not looking right, the lighting was awful and I was not feeling myself at all. So like halfway through the tutorial I just decided to stop, take off the makeup and take a nap because you know it was just not happening. So hopefully this tutorial will turn out better. So since we are going to work with a lot of eyeliner underneath the eyes, 
I'm not going to do a super heavy um, under eye concealer. I'm going to use a little bit of my neutralizer from Maybelline to start out with, but only a little bit. And then I'm actually going to use my Wet n Wild cover stick um, in light on top of that. So I used my uh, Maybelline concealer to correct and then I'm just going to use this Wet n Wild concealer to conceal. But I definitely want to apply that neutralizer underneath because this concealer is not very full coverage. And then I spray my sponge again and I just blend that out. And then as my under eye setting powder, I of course use my combination of Born Pretty Store powder and Ben Nye Banana powder. And the reason why I use the white powder is because I need to lighten the banana powder. It's too dark for my skin tone. And then I just go ahead and use a, what do you call it, a generous amount of powder to set my concealers. And I know some people will only like to apply a little bit of powder. And that's fine, but if I don't, you know, apply a generous amount, my concealer will crease. And then I'm going to use a skin tone powder all over the rest of my face. And I'm just using my e.l.f. powder brush. And you honestly don't need powder really with this foundation. But you guys know I'm a powder freak, so I apply powder on top of any foundation. And also the reason why I apply powder is because it makes it easier to contour. At least in my opinion. So Gaga's face was very bronzed and very nicely contoured with the bronzer. So I'm going to use New York Color Sunny Bronzer. It's just a matte orangey toned bronzer. And I of course like to use my e.l.f. angled blush brush. And it's okay if you apply a little bit more bronzer than usual. Because we're not going to apply anything else on the face. Honestly, it did not look like Gaga was wearing uh, any kind of blush or highlighter. And I find that to be the case with a lot of Gaga's looks. So I'm also going ahead and bronzing up around my forehead and my temples. And I apply a tiny bit just underneath my jaw. So once that's all well and done, I'm going to take my fan brush. This one is from e.l.f. And I'm just going to um, contour my nose. And actually, you guys, before I forget, um, we are also going to bring the contour onto the eyes, so I'm going to put down a base, I'm just going to use my cover stick. So apply that all over and blend it out with your finger. You could also use a brush, I just prefer my fingers, I think it's quicker and easier. And then I'm going to take a bit of my regular powder and just go over my eyelids. And then I'm ready to take some more of my contour bronzing powder. And apply this into my crease and the other eye. So once you are nice and bronzed, you want to take a big powder brush and blend it all out. You still want it to be pretty strong though, so it's okay if it, if it looks a little bit, you know, bold. Well, actually, to switch it up, I think I'm going to do my lips now. So Gaga's lips were a pinky, almost red color. I'm going to use my very red lip liner from Wet n Wild. It looks like this. I'm just going to use this to outline my lips. And as you can see right there, it goes on pretty pink. So it's actually the perfect color. And I should sharpen this. So once I have the rough outline, I'm going to go in with my finger and just blend it out. And then for my lipstick, I'm going to use this color from Wet n Wild. It's called Hot Paris Pink. Okay, so let's go ahead and move on to the eyes. So now I'm just applying a little bit of my foundation onto my eyebrows. Just because Gaga's eyebrows were bleached. So you want your eyebrows to look a little bit lighter than what they normally do. I'm really looking crazy right now. Now we're going to go in and draw on the eyebrows. I'm going to use my Boy and Pretty Store liquid eyeliner. And basically you just want to outline the upper part of your eyebrow and kind of following the natural shape. But you want to have two tails to your eyebrows. So you want one that follows your natural eyebrow shape and you want a tail that goes straight out. So 
So, yeah. Okay, so I actually just looked at the picture of Gaga and Gaga's eyebrows actually goes down a little bit in the inner corner, so I'm just going to try and do that. So once you look like a complete crazy person, you're going to do the eyeliner. So Gaga had on three lines, one on her upper lid and that's the one we're going to start out with and it's just a very basic cat eye. You want to take it into the inner corner and up towards the end of this tail. Not all the way up though, just leave a little space but aim towards the end of your tail. So once you have your upper eyeliner on, we're going to do the bottom. So the first line on the bottom lid just basically follows the eye upwards, you know, like this, and then follows the eyeliner up, and then it curls in the inner corner. So let's try and do this. So my liner looks something like that and this is hard so definitely have a couple of q-tips with makeup remover ready or a makeup remover pen like this one from e.l.f. So I'm actually going to go ahead and do the second line on the bottom on this eye as well. So the second line just goes right beneath the first line and it's a little bit longer and I hope you guys can see what I'm doing. It's hard to do because I can't do it from a long distance. I need to be up close with my mirror. And I'm actually going to make this little swirl up here into a dot instead because that's actually what Gaga has. So I'm going to do the other eye. So I'm done with my eyeliner now and I know the lighting is getting terrible, I'm sorry about that. I'm almost done so uh, we can finish now. But yeah, this is how my eyeliner turned out. It's not perfect but you know, this is very hard to do. And I don't really know if it's humanly possible to get these lines perfectly even. But anyways, I quite like how they turned out. And the only thing we have left to do is just to apply to apply a little bit of mascara just to the top lashes. Gaga was not wearing any type of false lashes. So I'm going to use my gosh uh, Show Me Volume mascara and I'm just going to do a quick coat of this. Now I'm going to apply my wig and my jacket and I will be right back. So this is the finished look. I hope you guys like it. If you do, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in my next tutorial. So take care and bye bye.